Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. We're going to do some more transplanting today. I thought I'd do a series of videos just on transplanting. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm growing uh, anything from seed. And I want to show you, today we're going to be doing a Celosia New Look. It's that red flower that I plant in my gardens. You've probably seen it on some of my videos, but the transplants look really nice, don't they? And they got their first true leaves. A little while ago so it's time to get them transplanted into their own cells so come on in with me and we'll do that right now All right, I'll show you, give you a little better close-up here. Look at all them in there. As you see, some of these are a little bigger. I normally will pull some of the bigger ones out and transplant them. And this one, this plant, Celosia New Look, will turn, these leaves will turn completely red in the summertime. It's just a beautiful plant. And it does really good in sun most of the day. It also will set seed out in the gardens. And a lot of it will come back. It will reseed itself. So that's nice. But uh, these were pretty, pretty easy to grow. Just come with me and I'll just show you what I do. Transplanting and show you how easy it is and why I like to plant them like this. It's just I can get a lot done in a hurry. Okay? So what I do is mainly I'll just go and look for some of the bigger ones. And as you can see here, this one's kind of tiny yet. I might stick it back in there. But this one here is a nice, nice little one and I'll just set them down right in the soil again peat perlite soil it's what I always use and what I've had really good success with it's another one now these when the seeds come uh, they have them coated with something because they just they have that urge to dampen off and um, it happens and when they coat them with this yellow stuff then it doesn't seem to be a problem but I've had these dampen off and they don't like to be too wet and that's just one of them things you gotta watch on them the ones that self seed out in the garden they <laughs> seem to do really really good and I like that I like that they do self seed but I do like to start my own also I'm gonna have an extra bed this year we did close in the pond I just need to make some changes out in the yard so I'm going to be getting a water fountain some kind of water uh, a water feature to put on our patio that way I'll still have that running water which I love to have outside see some of these are tiny and I'll stick them back in and they'll be just fine but I just go through here and just pick out the bigger ones and plant those first. And these are really, really easy to pull out with the roots. I do do a lot of flowers. I find it very beneficial in the garden to have flowers. And amongst my veggies and stuff, it just works really well. So I just push them down in there and you can see how easy it is. gonna have way I'm gonna have a lot of flowers this year again which I just love so what do you think that's as easy it is it's very easy I'm gonna be filling this whole tray up and then I'll water them in good let them rest a little bit before I put them back under lights One of my favorite things, again, you, many of you know, is transplanting. I just have so much fun transplanting. I've done a lot of it in my day when I had the greenhouse. And I just continue to love doing it. It seems very therapeutic. And I hope, you know, you guys will appreciate these transplanting videos. If you got any questions or comments, let me know below. I'll do my best to answer them. 
And I don't get to all the questions, so please don't feel I'm ignoring you. I just don't get to them all. It's just, that would be a full-time job in itself. But I hope you do appreciate the videos I do put out. So yeah, we're getting done and it goes really fast. You know, when you're first starting out, <clears throat> excuse me, from seed, um, you might not, you know, it's going to take you a little time. You're going to be afraid you're going to hurt the seed and all that. But no, they're pretty, pretty forgiving, really. As long as you don't break the stem or the root off, you're, you'll be just fine. So I'm going to show you some pictures of this one now. Okay, the tray's done. <clears throat> Just watered in really well now and And that's it. Like I said, I let them rest. And look at the underside of these. The red too. Very pretty. <clears throat> the, this side here also will get completely red in the summertime. Very nice plant. Very pretty indeed. We'll probably do more. Um, another tray at least to get the bigger ones out. And then I'll water it back in just to get these ones settled back in that I might have disturbed. So I hope you enjoyed this transplanting video of the Celosia New Look. We will see you soon. And uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to my videos. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you soon. Bye.